At their last home game of the season, Elon men's basketball went head-to-head -head against UNCG. In our new segment, Anatomy of the Game, we will take an in-depth look into the team's 2011 season. Determination, desire, precision, and passion. These words represent Elon Phoenix basketball. In a year full of wins and losses, highs and lows, and with new players being mixed with the old, the Elon Phoenix hope to christen newly renovated alumni gym with a winning record at home. It will be a, definitely a good building block if we can get to eight and seven. Um, Coach Matheny and the coaching staff, they're building something special here. What, what would be great about having a winning record here is rewarding the crowds that we've had. The energy in this building this year has exceeded my expectations. We wanted to establish a home court atmosphere, a home court environment here, and boy, we've done it this year. And it starts with the students. The students, uh, the, the way they've turned out to our games, and not only turned out to our games, but the energy that they brought with them uh, has transformed Alumni Gym into to a Cameron Indoor kind of facility. It's a big energy boost. When you have fans and family and friends all coming to the game, you know, cheering for you, anything that happens, you know, it, they boost your confidence. They push the game of play. The last team standing in their way, local rival UNC Greensboro. I learned very quickly um, when I got here that the UNCG Elon game was an important game. Every, every conference game is an important game, but this, this has a little more meaning to it, I think. In their previous matchup, senior point guard Chris Long led the way with 21 points as Elon prevailed 80 to 65. Chris really um, was the senior point guard and leader that he has been all year for us in that game. We just did a good job of sticking to our system and uh, doing what we knew would be successful for us. He, he read their defenses, he attacked at the right time, he really got to the foul line well. Um, which was a result of him seeing what the defense was giving him, taking advantage of that, and he drew a lot of fouls. Since the January matchup, Elon has now become battle-tested after venturing through a difficult Southern Conference slate. However, the Phoenix now returned to the practice court to prepare for the Spartans once again. We had a day off after our last game, and then we had two practices uh, focusing on us, running through our sets and making sure we know what we need to do for our, us, for our team. And uh, we had practice today and tomorrow, and uh, we're definitely uh, focusing on UNCG and looking at the back of the film and seeing what they did to us last time. Game day has arrived, and students, along with the Phoenix faithful, begin to fill up alumni gym. The teams take to the floor to begin warming up. Before tip-off, Elon will honor their three seniors for one last time in front of the home crowd. I, I know that they will feel quite a bit of emotion. It'll be interesting to see how they play as a result of that emotion, but uh, it'll be a well-deserved uh, applause for them before we tip it off. I'll be a little nervous, but I think once the game gets started, it'll, it'll be a fun time, especially with all my family there. Sometimes I look like the big, strong guy on the court, but I'm, I'm a little emotional every now and then, so I hope I don't shed a tear. If anybody, though, it'll probably be Scott. Uh, just cause he's a big guy, seems all tough, you know he's soft inside. <laughs> Have fun. I mean, it's our last game. You, you don't want to look back and think, I, I didn't enjoy the experience. While being escorted by their families, seniors David Meyer, starting forward Scott Grable, and starting point guard Chris Long are honored in front of the Phoenix faithful. And then when it gets game time, you know, you see emotions change. You see us go into battle mode. The game started off with a physical tone. It was a back and forth game as UNCG and Elon traded blows. Caught in the slugfest with the Spartans, the Phoenix turned to familiar faces as seniors Scott Grable and Chris Long spark the offensive attack. However, the depth of the maroon and gold shined through as Elon looked to impose their will on UNCG. The Phoenix turned to a familiar weapon, the three-point shot, as bench players Brett Irvin and Sebastian Koch caught fire from the outside. However, 
Elon has had a prominent problem all year long. Uh, we need to be um, competitively tough for 40 minutes. Having that middle game, that strong base to sit there and keep going, keep pushing, keep fighting. Once again, Elon turned to Chris Long. As the Spartans worked their way back into the game, Chris went blow for blow, refusing to allow his team to repeat their mistakes of the past. The game ended as it had started, physically. Chris Long went to the line to deal with the Spartans their final blow. And after playing all 40 minutes, Chris hits one last free throw to put the game out of reach and finish the performance of a lifetime. The Phoenix put it all on the line to allow their seniors one last opportunity to walk off their home court with their heads held high. But this was just one game and one season as Elon Phoenix basketball continues on its never-ending journey. For the Elon Phoenix Weekly, I'm Tom Waterman.